How's everything going over there? You feeling uh, you feeling good? You got this big thing coming up in a few days. Yeah, it's a little little low on energy, low on food and water right now. But well, drinking a lot of water, but uh, it's all good. Almost time to weigh in on Friday, so getting close. Okay, so you cutting some weight? Yep, cutting a good good amount these last couple of days. Got to get the last little bit of water weight off. I hear you. Is then you get to put it back as soon as as soon as weigh ins over, you get to put start putting it back on, though. Huh? Oh yeah, I'm put on probably fifteen to eighteen pounds. Oh, in what? In one night? Yeah. Yeah, throw some steaks down and stuff like that. <laughs> steaks, carbs, <laughs> drink a bunch of water. PDLA will be good. Right, right, right. What's your diet like when you're getting building all this up? These the last couple of days been like. A little sixty calorie Greek yogurt for breakfast. I'll have holy snap, sixty calories. I'll I'll have like uh, one or two hard boiled eggs, just the just the egg white, because the yolk's healthy, but it's got more calories. And then um, I'll have a little bit of lettuce and um, chicken breast. And then for dinner, um, like a one or two egg whites and um, a little bit of chicken breast. What you rich was what your sleeping regimen like, you know, during all this process and stuff? Like how long have you been doing this training camp as far as you know preparing for this tournament? For for this tournament, training camps are uh, our fight camps are six weeks, so just the last uh, like five and a half weeks. And how often do you fight between like how well, how often do you fight within the when when was but besides this, when was the last time you had a fight? February twenty sixth, because after that, um I won a title fight in New York, and then they wanted me to fight up there. Well, like two months later, they couldn't find me an opponent, though. It's, it's been hard to find opponents for me the last, like, three, four years. And then yeah. uh, a lot of people backing out. And then um, I got my nose broken sparring this crazy Ukrainian world champion. He's, he was good. <laughs> he, I, I, I was a little bit uh, faster than him, so he got, a little, he got a little upset about it and broke my nose with an elbow. And um, so then that took me out for like six weeks. I couldn't, I couldn't take any contact. And right. then, uh, and then after that, I got COVID. And then I came back from that. I tried to get another fight. Uh, what was it? September fifteenth. I was on the, I was on the show before that. That guy pulled out day of weigh-ins. I cut all the way down from 180, 182 pounds to one hundred fifty-six pounds. And then he, he, uh, he backed out day of weigh-ins. Uh, it was that sucked. And then um, now this one, I'm happy though. This one's got three other guys in it, four man, one day tournament. So, I, yeah, I, that's insane. Yeah, got to beat the first guy, and then I'll. That's fight that's like some old UFC, uh, you know, <laughs> tournament. Throw your hat in the ring, and yeah, yeah. Uh, let's get let's get down and let's get busy. Yeah, you know, two fights one night's a lot better than one or two a year. So that'll be. Yeah, that'll be... I hear that. But you got you you, you stamina ready for that. Yeah, 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 I do a lot. I do crazy cardio. Yeah, a lot of cardio. <laughs> oh yeah, you ever seen his his videos and and that is that? I, I, I seen I seen a few. I seen a few of the fights that you know he's got on YouTube and everything. You know, um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. You know, so we'll get out there and talk a little bit and you know, see what what you about, baby. I'm gonna want to go over there and see you do some of this. <laughs> you know, all this the elbows. All of this and elbows for sure. <laughs> Well, no, that's yeah. awesome, man. That's awesome. But yo, tell you me, tell me? me, like, uh, yeah, I hear you now, buddy. All right, um, how, 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 why Mo Muay Thai, and like, how, how did this all come about with you and everything? For the people that maybe didn't see you the first time around yeah. when you were on the show. Yeah, so, so my, me and my friend were a little. Uh, me and a couple of my friends, we used to go to the mall when we were young. We we're a little fourteen-year-old idiots, and um. My one friend started hitting on these girls in front of their boyfriends, and we almost got jumped and beat up and threatened and whatever. And then uh, me and my one small friend, we were like, we need to learn how to fight. So we looked up, you know, boxing and all these other martial arts, and we saw Muay Thai, like, strong, powerful punch, kicks, knees, and elbows. And we're like, well, let's try that. So we looked, uh, we looked <laughs> up. Right down the street from us, there is a – it's called Tampa Muay Thai, the gentleman now. And uh, yeah, we so we joined there and started training. He got into drugs and drinking and all that, and um, so he 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 got moved away from Florida to get away from that. But uh, I've stuck to it and just train every day um, since since I was 15. So I just I just love it. And how old are you now? Oh, 23. 
Okay. Well, you're still young. You're still a young chicken. You know what I mean? You're springing uh, yes. still. You know? But how'd your parents you guys, feel about that? Uh, they they support it just because they see how much work and I put into it and how much I love it. Um, at the start, my dad really supported it. He was always helping me and training me and coming to my fights. And my mom was a... Uh, she was a little worried, but she saw. I mean, I haven't gotten like severely injured, so she she's uh she's getting a little more comfortable with it. So uh, just like any other mom, you know what I'm saying? I want to see their baby right. get hurt. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah, for sure. But that's awesome, man. So you from Tampa, Florida? And, uh, uh, yeah, I was born in Pennsylvania, but I've been I've been in Tampa since I was four. Okay, that's awesome, man. That's really, yeah. that's really really awesome, man. So hey, did, so I mean, did you guys hang on. Did you guys talk about how this is going down on Saturday night? With no, the, not yet. We didn't get to that. We're getting there. This is the okay. This is the king of the ring. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys handle it since my <laughs> shit went haywire here. Oh, you're good. We can hear you now. Hey, you by know, chance, like of the ring. One is the king of the ring. Clap. That's it. And the, but by chance, like. You have have you gone to uh, Thailand or have you like? You know, yeah, so you have. Yeah. You have yeah, gone I to there, Thailand. I was there in 2019. Yeah, I was there for um, I was there for almost two months. Yeah, I fought. I fought once out there. Okay, and you learn like under some Thai, Muay Thai masters or anything like that over yeah. there. Um, the the master of that gym, the the owner of that gym, he's actually Chinese. He was a uh, master. Master Boone was his name. He was he was. Extremely good. <laughs> really? Is that the guy that's doing 140 push-ups on your the guy? Is that, no, that was like master from Canada? That was a that was a John Suchar, my master. He was, he's a beast. He's awesome. Nice. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, I got questions like you know, like how's the how's the point system work in that? Is it like boxing? The one who's more aggressive, uh, you know, um, contact, uh, like like how does that work? I mean, I mean, you want to land. A I get countered and uh i don't i don't really i don't really follow the you know points point systems because i just i just care about damage really i just wanted to, right, I just right. to i'm trying to hurt you or take you out but um especially if you can if you can you know dodge a strike and kick someone in the back or kick someone in the, like you know the side of the ribs in the back that's extremely high scoring because if you can get behind them but um and land a strike but um i don't i don't like way much into the uh points into the points i just i just fight hard now in your in your division that you're going to be dealing with on saturday night is there uh is there like uh certain striking that you can't do or you can do or is there takedowns or you know no like, more uh, no takedowns it's all it's like kickboxing but with knees and elbows also and you can clinch you can grab the back of the head and knee and elbow um you can sweep them so you can sweep them they fall on the ground but you gotta let them up and there's um in amateurs there's no knees to the head. Okay, all right. Now I got a question, man. When when they wear those those things around the arms with the with the tassels and the thing that comes in the back of the head, now is that the part project. of like a? Yeah, I mean I don't know the technical names. So I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the discipline or nothing like that. Uh, but like um like is that part of like the ritual or like the you know like the ancient heart of it or how you should yeah, come yeah. in as a warrior? Oh, like oh, what what is that about? Yeah, it's all ritual. They used it back in um back during wars in Thailand. But um I've I've uh, I use the Mongol when we walk out. I wear the around the head, but I've never wore the uh, projects around the arm. I haven't worn those yet. Now is that is that like a step up or is just you haven't chosen to no, wear I just, it? I, I just haven't worn them yet. All right, all right. So, okay. so what do we what do you what do you know about Anthony Brown? That's the first guy you're you're fighting, right? Yes. That's no, fun. no, it's, it's uh, it doesn't be, work that way. Yeah, it's weird how they put that. That's um the co-main event. They just had the four of us, but the we're the third and the fourth fights on the card. But it's all going to be randomized. So day of the uh, day of the fights, we're going to draw names. And it's going to be random. Okay. Where, where, where but, now you guys? Oh, go ahead. Where's your weight at right now? Uh, what's my weight at? Are are you are you torturing yourself right now? I mean, yeah, to a. Yeah, to a degree. Uh, one sixty-eight. This you don't morning. see him. He looks like he's melting. I know. He, he looks. Like, he looks like he's in rough shape right now. He, he looks. He looks like he's hungry and tired. One sixty-eight this morning. So um, fourteen. Fourteen pounds to go. Man, all right. You'll make it. 
Oh yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been, yeah, water, I've been water loading. I've been water loading like crazy. I mean, a gallon of water is eight point five, eight point six pounds. What is eight point six pounds? And I've been drinking three and a half to four gallons to you know just soak the body up. And then tomorrow I'll basically stop drinking, just a little sips, and then we're going to the sauna. Um, wrap up in some blankets, get out the sauna, wrap it, wrap in some blankets, Squeeze and yourself um, out. Friday we'll fly in to uh, North Carolina. We'll drive three hours. In our uh, rental car, get to South Carolina. We'll go to the sauna there, and um, sweat the last little bit out, make weight, and get ready to beat some people up. So you're training right now at the moment because you're doing this. You're not doing anything right now, right? No, like, no, I work. I, I work also. Yeah. Yeah. I hear. You. I hear. You. Keep hey, keep it keep it going. Hey, is there, is there any sort of testing in this? Um... For PEDs uh, or anything? Do they do they do that with the? No, not not drug test. We get uh, our uh, blood work and our eye. Okay, and what are they looking for in the blood work? Just to make sure that you're healthy. Have hepatitis or HIV or anything? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Nick, now Nick, he he understands boxing, and so he some of these questions he has. It's just phenomenal where, you know, he understands some of what you do. But I want you to tell him a little bit about how different Muay Thai. Muay Thai, now, I mean, you know me. Last time I talked to you, I said, yeah, I watched some John claude Van Damme. That doesn't make me any expert. Blood sport. But <laughs> knowing you and just following you, how just phenomenal and brilliant you are. Um, I found out some other, some other stuff as far as, like, there are – a couple of groups, the major techniques, the minor techniques, when we're talking about formal Muay Thai, can you give us a little, maybe Nick would understand a little bit more than even me. I've tried to get into it, but man, it, it's tough. It, it's tough to understand. And then, and of course, all these technical terms, is there something that you can enlighten us? Uh, you mean the ba you mean basic strikes? The basic strikes, because I know you, you know, you got your elbow, you got your, you know, which is what you're you know for neat, but but from what I found out, you have you know in the in general, you're known for you are known for elbows, yeah, and you have your minors, and that's what I, I was hoping. There's, Nick, the, I mean, there's, to box, there's boxing, so I mean, there's jab, cross, hooks, uppercuts, overhands, you can go body hooks. Um, with our kicks, you've got leg kicks, inside leg kick, which I like because the inside of the leg, um. Is, isn't used to getting hit much. It's not very conditioned, so it can it can be damaged a lot easier. You've got body kicks. The left kick to the liver I like because you can hit them. The left kick, you hit them in the liver. They can shut the body down a lot easier than um, just kicking them in the ribs. And then um, you've got, you can kick them in the neck, which you can shut them down, knock them out. You can kick them in the head. Um, I like head kicks a lot. We've got the teeth, which you've, you, well, you told me last time you know about the teeth, the push kicks, you bring your knee up push your uh, foot forward, drive with your hip. So you can keep the leg if yeah. you want to. Um, if someone's coming forward real aggressive, you keep in the leg. You can off balance them a little bit, mess up the rhythm, keep them in the body to either push them back. You can, you can, you know, can do some damage to the stomach. Um, keep them in the chest to um, push the upper body backwards a little bit. Or I love teeps to the face. If I have some distance between me and my opponent, or usually when I drop my opponent with, you know, elbow, whatever I drop them with, when I go to the the neutral corner, when the ref gives him the count and says fight, we got a lot of distance between us. I can cover the distance with a big step through my opposite stance. I like keeping in the face. So I'll front kick the face. And um, that's how I finished my last fight in New York. I, I snapped his head back real bad. And he's out <laughs> of the back of his head. So um, the ref gave him another eight count and told him to get his gloves up and step forward if you want to keep fighting. He, he didn't answer it, so he called it. And then you got uh, you got elbows. You got... The regular elbow, you know, horizontally. You got up elbows. You got so spike elbows coming downwards. I like I like the spike elbow coming downwards. I might try to throw these knees fight. You can break someone's nose pretty easily. Um, and you've got knees. <laughs> you got knee. You can knee people in the leg. Knee people in the um in the body. Knee the chest. Try to break some ribs. I've broken some uh, opponents' ribs before. It does a lot of damage and slows them down. And um. You know, in amateurs, like I said, you can't knee to the face. I've, I've need one opponent that he dug real low. I threw a flying knee and he ducked into it, took it on the temple, and did a lot of 
film. But um, yeah, yeah. when I go pro, I'll be needing a lot more people in the face, but can in the amateurs. So when and do you need? When do, do we you go need pro? To, oh, go no, when do we go pro? That. Is is it after this? Is this it for amateurs? And then are we bumping up to pro? Either after that, we'll see how this goes. After either after this, or maybe get maybe get like one more good title, and then uh, and then go pro. We'll we'll see. How many, how many titles do you need? You're not gonna have enough room for all these. For <laughs> like all get, belts you see his belts. belts? He's like this. Well, I'm trying ten. to hold them. <laughs> and, 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 and what happens? Oh. So let's say in in fight one mm. on Saturday night, you win. Yeah. yeah. But you bust your nose. How do you uh, how do you go in how do you go into or or let's say you get some you win but you get some kind of injury? Do I mean forfeit I mean, fight two? How does how how does I, that work, I, I, man? I'm real I'm real tough. So I mean it, it obviously I can't I am not gonna be like an idiot right now and be oh I, if I get a terrible injury I'm gonna still fight. But I mean if 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 I just get a broken nose or something, anything happens, I'm still gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assess the damage and try to fight. I mean, we fly, we're flying all the way up to the South Carolina for this, and I'm fighting. <laughs> I get one or two fights a year. For, once I beat the first guy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat the second one. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm gonna still try to fight even if I take a little damage the first one. But I don't really plan on taking too much damage. I mean, obviously I can, but um. Because my opponents are going to be good and experienced opponents as well, but I hope I don't take too much damage in the first one. <laughs> now let me ask my you guess. This. Suppose oh. you go up there, and then and then I'll I'll give it back to you guys. Suppose no, you no, go no. up there, and all three of these other guys come in like 14, 15 pounds overweight. Because your last fight before we spoke to you, yeah. or right after we spoke to you last time, mm -hmm. you were on your way to Miami to fight, and your opponent yeah. came in like sixteen pounds overweight. Which, Is that Valdez? I mean, That's when I take off my jacket and I and I challenge him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> don't you just want to beat the shit out of the guy out in the parking lot for coming in sixteen pounds overweight? It's like you yeah, yeah, try, yeah. right? Yeah. Real, uh, it was real. It was real disrespectful. Yeah. Man. All right. It's, and it's, and it's, Nick, it's politically I think correct this guy answer. Gets disrespected because yeah, because they keep turning. Well, maybe I started to think that maybe you're too good, Chase. Maybe tone it down. Don't. Don't be throwing so many uh, awesome videos out there. <laughs> nah, man, you always got to make your mark and let them know that you're the I man know. you have to play with, you know? But I take it that, you know, you're fighting, what, second or third, you said? Yeah, so we're they, the... Uh, we're yeah, the, get it out of the way and but, give you some recoup time and then for, for, for the later for the later event. Yeah, yeah, we're the third and the fourth fights will be, you know, be randomized, like I said, so we'll be the third and fourth. Um well, I just got to beat the first guy, and then we'll have, you know, what, seven fights or whatever. So probably three or four fights to really foam roll and stretch and eat a little. I got, I'm going to have dried mango and banana chips back there with me, have a little a little bit of sugar, a little bit of carbs in me, uh, drink a little Pedialyte water, and then just get keep my hand keep my hands wrapped and get ready for the, uh, for the next one. I hear you that, You don't man. have to wait. No one has to wait until next week. Or for Twitter, and now we will, Nick. And here, you, you want to talk about legit? Can you guys see that? Yeah, I know. I saw that. I saw That's, that. There you go, right said, there. He, Nick and Tom. Will I be, was like, yo, where'd you get that? Look at him all dressed up, yeah, smiley. That's when he was an executive at, uh, at IBM. Um, yeah, Nick and Tom here, bro. will be in South Carolina. They'll be bringing full coverage of this fight. Now, obviously, we're not streaming it live, but we'll be updating to Twitter. We putting stuff out on social. These guys will have all access to you, basically, correct? Yeah. Throughout the night, okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sure. And you can, you can stream this fight. There is a pay per view. If you go to southeastmoitai.com, there'll be a link for the pay per view. And if you're a fan of Chase, if you like having, I don't, I don't. They're not good with putting out all the info ahead of time, so I don't know what the stream costs. But if you like Chase and you like the show and you want to support the guy, Chase does get some sort of piece of pay per view sold, correct? Bucks, couple of bucks, yeah. Couple of bucks. Yeah, well, right, couple, right. bucks can, couple of bucks, couple we'll bucks can buy him a hamburger down yeah. over there. <laughs> the, <laughs> the boy's <laughs> hungry. <laughs> and Nick, Nick, after he fights, buy him some food. All right. I'll reimburse I'll buy him. Yeah, yeah. Buy him, buy him whatever, whatever you want. Him the last time. Just yeah, buy yeah, him yeah. Whatever <laughs> he wants, man. <laughs> Right. It's on Bleacher Brothers. <laughs> yeah, you got it, dude. You no, got it. So, 
But we got one week till Thanksgiving. We're all gonna enjoy some pumpkin pie. Oh yeah, you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna go up to one ninety seven. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> hey, so Chase, tell me, like, besides, uh, you know, this this Muay Thai, do you have any other ambitions or even thought about, you know, ever stepping into the cage or putting some gloves on and getting into the, you know, square to a square ring, anything uh, like that? Uh, I've got a lot of friends that are um, high level jujitsu, um, either you know, purple belts and black belts. I've got a couple pro MMA fighter friends. I'm thinking I might I might start dabbling a tiny bit and a little bit of wrestling, a little takedown defense on jujitsu, and maybe maybe eventually try MMA, but not 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 right now. I'm gonna keep working my striking, but I might start working the fundamentals and the base. So maybe in a couple of years down the line, once I go pro, once I establish my pro career, and I'm a professional uh, kickboxing Muay Thai world champion, then I can go back and forth. You know, MMA if I get one day get good enough to get in Bellator uh, with MMA or anything. They, they, that's where the money's at is MMA, is MMA sadly. Kickboxing is getting more popular. Muay Thai is getting more popular. But um, MMA still makes a lot more money. I hear that. Now we're in, Chase. That. We're in with uh, we're in with Dana White. Uh, we'll see him at the Super Bowl. We're in with Sean, Sean Merriman. Right? Is it Sean Merriman? As the, yeah, the football uh, player? Yeah, football yeah but he, player. now he now he's got a UF, player? he's got an MMA uh league team really? type of deal going on right now. Yeah. Does, so, does. so we we we've we've got those connections. So So when so you what, were in high school, you never did any of this type of type of any any football, wrestling, none of that. You just this happened just uh, you just happened to spun upon this because of that incident with your friends and these yeah, girls yeah, and I, stuff I like played, that. I played uh, I played soccer when I was uh I played soccer when I was younger and then I played like a year or two of football but then I rock climbed competitively um from seven to fifteen years old. Really? I traveled around Florida, traveled to like Georgia and stuff and Colorado. But um yeah, when I was when I was fifteen, I started more tiles. Like, up, oh, I'm gonna cut the rock climbing. I'd rather, it's it's not as fun and entertaining as a uh, climbing a wall is not as fun as hitting people. I hear that. So, what's your favorite move? Like, what do you what do you what, what are you known for? What's what's the chase? What's the chase move I'm looking for when I'm watching you Saturday night? Like, like my, what is my, it? My, my elbows. Which one? This one coming across or this one? Which uh, one are you doing? I, I like doing. I switch my stance. I go. I I'm orthodox, so my left foot's forward. I switch to my right foot forward, and I land my right elbow coming downwards. There's not many people do so. Instead of here, I'll throw it downwards, and um, I'll either clip them on the temple. Right, right. Give them a nice slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clip them up, give them some uh, little little brain damage. And, uh, <laughs> I just. I just I don't want you getting caught. I think the first round, I'll probably, you know, take it a little chill. Feel well, don't give your secrets out. Uh, yeah, don't give the secrets out. Don't give. Don't uh, let them know what you're doing in the uh, first round. <laughs> they know this guy. Either way, they got to they gotta see me in person. Um, no doubt. I, I, when I close the distance, I just don't want to get hit with anything big. Uh, try to get myself in the elbow range. But I'm, I'm ready for any range. You know, if we're going to strike, we're going to clinch, we're going to knee and elbow. Uh, it's just... Uh, it's a weird feeling because I haven't, like I said, I haven't fought in like oh, what almost nine months, and I've only had like three fights or four fights in the last like year and a half, two years. So it's it's like it's just weird that I actually get to go in there and fight someone and fight two people this weekend. <laughs> I hear you. I mean, I hey, that's tough. That's a tough deal you're dealing with, man. Two dudes in one night. Like I said in the beginning of this whole thing, you know that's. I give you, you got heart, man. I mean, you got heart to do anything that's physical at all. It doesn't matter what it is. But to yeah. go against two dudes, you know, and God willing, you know what I'm saying, you you make it past the first one and you don't get hurt, then you'd be ready for that second one, you know? Nick, so. Nick I know this guy a little bit. And I tell you, if if it took fighting five fights in a night, I think he'd be up for it. Once that adrenaline pumping, baby. Once you get that adrenaline pumping, you want to get it going. You want to get so, in. So when when you get done with us here in in in, in a couple minutes, what what's the rest of your night now? Are you are you are you gonna crash out? Do you have to? You got to get I've down got, there and uh, roll. I've, I've got my Norma Tank, my uh, compression boots. So I'll use these uh, compression boots and get my legs. Uh, make sure my legs are all uh, loosened up and not going to cramp on me or anything in the next day or two because before my last fight 
I was foaming on my calf, and it uh, I don't, it was I wasn't dehydrated. I was fully hydrated, but uh, foaming on my calf, like I cramped it up real bad to the point I could barely walk. I had to go get some laser treatment done on it with one of our uh, old sponsors. So I'm gonna use my Norvatec compression boots and um, just keep everything loose, and then foam roll a little bit, then go get some sleep. So what do those things do? They put they 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 squeeze, you know, like they blow up yeah. the air or something. It goes on it goes on your calf and it goes on your uh, on part of your leg, and then it just it just squeezes and you can you can change the intensities on them and uh, it really loosens everything up. Yeah, are you are your shins like? Like super hard, like you like one of them. Them I've seen some of them Thai lion dudes. They kicking palm yeah. trees and knocking palm bamboo. trees. Bamboo, yeah, bamboo, yeah. <laughs> they're pretty hard. I, I haven't kicked through bamboo, but they're they're pretty hard. I can I can kick people in the head and they don't hurt too bad. So I mean, I, they're they're pretty hard. I'm sure, I'm sure, bro. I'm sure, brother. I'm sure. You know, Chase. Anybody showing up? Like besides us uh, knuckleheads from Bleacher Brothers, but like some family, anybody? Um. My dad and his fiance, they're just getting back from a trip. They said they might, but I don't think I don't think they're gonna make it. They didn't say anything else about it coming up. Um, I've got three three friends. One of my teammates, uh, Joey, he's gonna corner some of us, I think. He's driving up, my friend Brandon, my friend Jake, they're driving up together. So the three of them are coming up with us. That's awesome. So you got a little support system coming up there for you. Yeah. And you got us, baby. You got the bleacher yeah. brothers coming up there, kid. <laughs> And Funky press in the flesh. My best friend Kai, he's coming up. He's coming up to corner me, so that'll be. I'm excited about that. My best friend up to corner me. That's oh, good, you know, man. Nick, look at look at this. Just take a look at him for a minute. You know when he goes pro, if he doesn't wait too long before he gets old, right? When he goes pro, the girls, he's gonna be like the De La Hoya. <laughs> I, mean, look I know. Look he at him. Like look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look Look, you see him here, and he, but in person. He looked dude, like Justin Bieber a little bit. The dude is solid. <laughs> oh, the dude is solid. I'm telling you, the girls He's are going to be. He's Justin Bieber that can kick ass. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> a little bit. Just do me a favor. Do us a favor. When you yeah. make it to the top, don't forget, don't forget us. us. Uh, never, 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 never. We got a question from the chat, Chef Tom's like, "Want any tats, any ink?" No, no, not yet. I kind of want to get a chest tattoo. All three of my opponents all have chest tattoos. I'm the only one without one, but uh... that's all right. You know that that's, that that makes them think that you know, saying, "Oh, he's a little nice guy," you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Say, say you tell him, "Yo, I'm gonna tattoo your face." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, uh, tell him you have to now. I'm gonna put two slashes, and that's yeah. for your body. <laughs> I, don't, do you, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, do you ever uh, talk? Do you ever talk like talk shit to your opponents beforehand? Is that is that um, your style? No, is that what you do? Uh, I'm too nice. I don't. I don't want. I don't. I also like. A, I don't. I don't like any confrontation or anything. I don't like arguing with people. I don't like. Anything. I just. I just. I just want to fight. So uh, yeah. I got no. With my opponents, I don't want to talk no shit. That's not who I am. I just want to go in there. Oh, I'll shake your hand. I'll give you a hug at Wayne's. Whatever. I don't really. I don't care. And then uh, when we step in, I'm gonna to try to knock your head off. And then right after, we can go get some ice cream, whatever. I don't. I'm He's a silent to... assassin. Does anybody <laughs> yeah, ever talk yeah. shit to you? <laughs> um, Have you ever had that? I've had like I've had like one or two opponents. I had one opponent, the uh, the one I flying need. He told my best friend uh, Kyle, the guy I told you guys I fought him like a year ago, and then. Now I joined his gym. That's my best my best friend. He um he was in the locker room and I just left the locker room and uh, this guy this guy Jerry came over to him and said I want a real challenge I want to fight you uh, I'm gonna run through your boy Chase and uh, he's gonna be easy work and then I flying knee him in the first round of the head dropped him made him kiss the canvas and then uh, and then blasted him with a couple more shots and finished him in the second round so it's not good to talk shit karma karma is a, a real thing. So uh, that's right. Exactly. Got that right. Go in there and do the fighting. Just be respectful. Go do the fighting. When I was seventeen, I couldn't. I couldn't get a fight for like a year and a half. Like I told you guys before, um, I was. I was a little stupid seventeen year old. I talked shit. I talked shit in one of my fights. This uh, this kid was being just a little disrespectful that way. It's not like anything crazy, but um, and during the fight, he, he'd hit me with these knees, and he was trying to like mean mug me and stuff. 
So I'd smack him with a knee and he'd, I'd knock all the wind down. I'd go, I know you felt that. I hit with another one and say, yeah, yeah. And I was, I talked a little bit, but I, that's, that, I'm not doing that. Well, I was a little stupid 17 year old then. So now I just, I hear I'm you. Fighting. Now look at the level, the bleacher brother level that Chase is on. Because, Nick, what was the last fight that you and I covered together? Pacquiao and uh, Cotto. So we went from we went from Manny Pacquiao and Miguel Cotto <laughs> to Chase Brooks. So that, you have some big shoes to fill. But we did Cameron Dollar somewhere in there, too. That's remember, right. We did Cameron Dollar. Bro. But, but that was before. That was before. All right. Hey, Cameron Dollar is yeah. working in the Wawa now, I think. Yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not quite sure. Give me that. Go work my way up. Yeah, hey man, that's where everybody got to work your way up and do your yeah, thing. I'll start, I'll start at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, hey man, you got to stay healthy, stay clean, stay humble, yeah, and good stay- things will happen and come your way, buddy. So, so yeah, let I'm me gonna... say this, and then I'll let Nick and, and play action, you know, say whatever they want to say to close it out with you. But, A, love you, appreciate you. I know it was hard getting on tonight. I know you had computer issues, then you had no filter <laughs> issues. So I appreciate you hanging in there. Uh, oh, I'm going to ask you uh, next Wednesday night, if you will, after the fights, mm-hmm. to come back on for, for a couple of minutes anyway and, and give us yeah. a rundown of, of what happened. I'm sure that uh, if Nick is available, it's the night before Thanksgiving, but if Nick is available to come on and maybe Tom come on too um, and kind of recap what, and maybe we can play some footage that, that you'll yeah. see for the first time. Man, Nick, you guys get him. <laughs> Elbow in this mo and oh, no, no doubt. We'll be there. We're and the brain there. coming out in ear. If you get yeah, yeah, all we're that gonna stuff. be there. You might even hear me as I'm recording. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> no, oh, oh <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> you win. <laughs> no, no, you're gonna win, man. You're gonna win. You're gonna do your thing, man. Like I said, stay humble, keep focused, you know. You yeah. should be all right. All your training's gonna come in effect, you know. And you got to listen to him because without going into great detail, Nick is around some of the top professional fighters right now in boxing (laughs) consistently, (laughs) right or wrong. You are, you're true. Yeah. So, um, so respect. But but anyway, I I can't be there, but I'm sending guys better than me. I wish you luck. Nick, (laughs) I don't know better than him, but yeah, we're going to be there, Chase. We're going to be there and we're going to be supporting you. And, you know, hey, like I said, I'm excited. It'll be my first Muay Thai event, you know, to, like, watch up close like that. Um, I've seen a lot of fights. I've seen a lot of wrestling. I've seen them, but I've never seen Muay Thai. I mean, you know, I've seen on TV and stuff like that. Yeah. But up close. I'm excited, man. And I hope yeah. everything goes well for you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to make sure I fight hard for him. Fight hard. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. No more so, question for me, Chase. I just hey, got to say. But as far as, hey, as far as me, I mean, we, I, I. I we're closing this whole thing out or whatever with you and everything. So, hey, man, just like I said, I'll see you Saturday. I look forward to it. Yeah. And between now and then, do what you got to do so that you give us an exciting show and you give everybody out there that's supporting you an exciting show. Now, hey, Jeff, what would you have, Jeff? Uh, I just got to say, you know, a pre- much appreciation. I know you're probably tired. You're doing your thing right now. But uh, uh, you are – so you've, uh, us old guys right here, you are an inspiration – so just keep doing what you're doing, man. If there's anything, and I, I really mean that anything we can do for you, reach out, please, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just Except my, access for money. Ice, she's, <laughs> What's she's that? Great. What's that, Chase? Come on. So I cheese for you after the fight. Nick, hey, man. Man. You if, you, if, you feel, if you're feeling up to it and you want to go get a cheeseburger and stuff, we got you. Bleach your brothers got you. Matter of fact, you can have a double cheeseburger. <laughs> Feed the man, dude. All right. Because, hey, I'm going to take the bill, and then I'm going to bring it to AJ. (laughs) Feed the man. Feed the man. I'll trade. I'll trade. So, hey, if that's what you're up to, and if you're down for it, you know what I'm saying, when we do a little, hopefully you're in good shape to do a little, you know, post-fight interview and all that, hey, man, you want to go get something to eat, let's go do it. So yeah, Penguin, right. the fight is available on pay per view. I, I don't think we can we can repost so, the Penguin, but uh, southeastmoitai.com. Yeah, southeastmoitai dot uh, southeastmoitai dot com, um, and check it out. And, and people in the chat are wishing you, you know, the best and good luck. Luch wants you to fight in Atlantic City. Um, so anyway, man, go get your rest. We appreciate you. We're pulling for you. 
and we'll be posting to social all night um, about this event. So, all right. Thank you, guys.